miracle type of training supplement of food. It comes down to working hard and doing a number of things well. So, uh, for you to be a good runner, you have to uh, work hard that you do a number of things right. Sometimes your, di your, your, your diet counts, your nutrition counts, um, your type of training counts, but that's not really the, 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 the solution. If you have the right diet, the right training, but you don't work hard, uh, you may be so stuck, you know. The, for you to be able to move uh, ahead a second, a minute, for you to be able to reduce a second, a minute, and it all boils down to hard work. So today we are going to talk about hard work. So there is no miracle type of training supplement to food. It comes down to hard work and doing a number of things. So there's a brief outline of some training principles that you apply to your own training that will help you run faster for longer. So to improve you, you will require to apply more than one of these. Learn to run. Run is a skill. Everyone can kick a ball, but some people can kick football better than others. Well, run is the same. Everyone can run, but some people are more efficient at running than others. Work on your running by your mechanics to make you a more efficient runner will help you run faster for longer. As I said, uh, you all know how football goes. Some people can play, but others can play more than others. That's how run is. So for you to become a perfect marathon runner, you have to perfect on uh, how to run better in a skillful way. Uh, things like how to throw your arms, how to relax your body whilst running, all those things help you relax, feel relief, so you don't get uh, tired early. Just like swimming, you have to relax your muscles for the water to carry you the same way you're running. You have to relax the body for the air to carry you and you have to feel the rhythm, enjoying the movement of the time. So that's how it is. You have to build a skill to be able to run freely and faster. Build on your base millage and be specific. You have to build on your base. The key to getting less used to running your desired design is simply by putting in the miles. Building the millage up week by week. As a guy, you should not increase your weekly or monthly millage more than 10 per week. Be sure to keep your run specific to the events you are taking part. If it's a flat run, train on the flat. If it's a hilly run, train in the hills. Also, and avoid run of pavement as much as possible. To reduce the risk of injuries. Well, this is talking about you increasing your mileage. Well, when I started running, I, I started with one kilometer and I couldn't finish the one kilometer, so gradually I keep on increasing until uh, I was able to run like more than a kilometer. So that's how it is. So when you start, you start with a kilometer to increase your mileage day by day. But don't do it at once. Don't just get up, run two kilometers a day. Then the next week you just jump to 10 kilometers. No, you can't. It doesn't work that way. It's a step by step process. So when you increase, you increase step by step. 10 percent, 10 percent. If you run uh, 1k, you increase it by 1 point something. Gradually, gradually, you'll be there. And don't also run in pavements. Pavements are high grounds that when you hit on them, uh, it can cause injuries to your. Yeah, your sin and your knees and those things. So you should run on the places that are injury free, and uh, most especially, you have to train uh, according to how your events is going to be. If you are going to run on flat ground, you have to train on flat ground. If you are going to run on hill, if it's obstacle race, you have to train on obstacles. However, it is you have to train in that way to help you get the coordination and how to do things. Uh, so I think that's also uh, and most especially, especially track runners if you want to get your know, track is different from road so if you want to get used to the track you have to be using the track often you know uh, so that's also a point 
Pavement damages joints, tendons, ligaments, and muscles. The more you can run on grass, get the better you are off. Uh, speed workout. Speed workout. This brings us to speed workout. In my next video, I will, I will do some speed workout. Yeah, speed workout for you to see how it is done. The speed workout to see how it is done. Yeah. Many people make the mistake of running too fast on their speedy long recovery runs and run too slow on their speedy session because their legs are fatigued. Your speedy and longer run should be a run at the pace where you can hold a conversation or your heart is worth at more than 75 for your mass weight. Depending on what your race is, depending on the speed session you will do. But no matter what distance, your speed sessions are a vital ingredient for running faster for longer. So sometimes, if you want to test out why the person is running more than his pace, eh, you try speaking with the person. But if you want to test if you are running more than your pace, Try holding a conversation with a, a third party, and if the conversation you are not able to speak properly or you are not able to brief properly, it, it will tell you that now uh, you are running more than your pace. And in that case, you have to advise yourself uh, to to either reduce your pace uh, or to run at a normal pace where you can brief normally and also able to talk freely man you this is a training it's not competition and you don't have to overtrain yourself you have to take it gradually gradually and eventually you'll be there so don't want more than an average of 75 of your mass weight eh? if it does that way it can affect you so you have to know how to be able to hold your brief as well uh, hill sprints or short intervals. So, uh, in so do you know, uh, kilometers, some kilometers to end of marathon. That's where some people can follow. That's when uh, the men are separated from the women. They say men are separated from the women, where uh, the heroes are separated from uh, the followers. If you wanna make it at this point, then you need to increase your speed. Hill sprint or short intervals. This will increase your VO2 max and running speed as well as build power in your legs. Sample hill session will look like sprinting up a hill at 10, 90 to 100 percent of mass agile for one to two minutes, followed by recovery walk or jog back down to the hill. So, uh, like a hill, a slow hill, you have a sample of that. So, you jog. Up the hill, then slowly down the hill, up the hill, slowly down the hill, like in a 30 minutes time. And uh, that will help you build up your speed for a marathon. Then we look at tempo of a leg sessions. This are uh, again best run similar to terrain to what you will be racing. For this, you will be looking. Looking around close to your race pace for a 10 km, but around for 5 minutes, 45 um, to an hour. Uh, pushing your lactic threshold. Temporal running is part of the stable training plan of many elite Kenyan distance runners. Uh, so, the temporal runner, you, you, you run for some time, relax. Uh, for some time, uh, the a mixture of hard and soft tempo. Also, tempo too is good. Bring down your your runners. Uh, so, tempo runner uh, is like if you are to run a marathon. Mm -hmm. uh, if they say the marathon is uh, 42 kilometers, so you can run like 40 kilometers, eh? but slowly, 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 that's the problem. So close to your uh, distance. So for preparing for marathon, you need to also consider running tempo running. This also helps. Uh, yeah. 
core strength and conditioning. It is important to incorporate this into your training to reduce the risk of injury, also to help maintain your runner form when you are fatigued, therefore maintain efficiency. So finding yourself running faster for longer. What can be recommended is active yoga, pilots, sessions for core. Also, don't forget back is included in core. Body and free weight exercises are good for legs and upper body building, upper body strength and muscular endurance. So you have to build your core, your strength and conditioning. Doing a lot.